Mmm. Who are we expecting at the spaceport, Brave Star? A student marshal fresh from the Galactic Academy. A Marshal Carson. You've got to spend some time in training here learning from us. Oh, just don't seem right to use our valuable time wet nursing a half-baked marshal. No, uh, he won't be here long. Just until he gets his assignment to one of the planets. Until then, he's got to have some guidance while he gets his first taste of being a real marshal. Oh, no. Here he comes. Oh, let's start babysitting, Marshal. Yeah. It looks like he needs it, all right. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, uh, nothing at all. I reckon you'd be Marshal Carson. I'm Marshal Bravestar. These are my deputies, 3030 and Fuzz. Howdy. Glad know you, Marshal. I'm not sure it's all right to shake hands with a prairie person. Sure he won't bite, Marshal? Not unless you bite him first, Carson. In which case, you'd answer to me. <laughs> You've got a temper, Marshal. Now then, I know you're supposed to teach me what you can, but save your breath, Bravestar. I'm ready to go to work as soon as I get my assignment. Unfortunately, rules are rules, so I'm putting up with this, even though I don't need it, frankly. I'm already the best there is. Think I'll take a look around. <laughs> Telling me we got to have that no good, conceited, bigoted fool amateur here to uh, teach? Why he talk that way to me, Marshal? He not even knows me. What the heck, Marshal? You spent to the ship? No. And it isn't landing in the spaceport, it's heading out into the desert. I better have the computer track it so we know where it lands. Why'd you want to come to this old ghost town anyway? Well, I figured to do a story for the paper on the history of Dust City, JB. Huh? It's a ship, and it landed right over there. Come on, JB. The newspaper is hungry for news. <sighs> well, all right. I just hope that whatever's in that ship isn't hungry, too. <laughs> supposed to be any real ghosts in a ghost town, but no, I'm not so sure. Well, whatever it is, it seems to be connected to that ship, and it's something Marshal Bravestar should know about. Bravestar! And here's the Marshal's office, Carson. Well, I reckon you won't have much use for that, either. Is this talking horse some kind of alien, Marshal? Nope. Good. I don't like aliens. What do you got against aliens? They don't look human. They're weird-looking creatures. What's wrong with that? We probably look weird to them. Marshal, the Zot cousins are fighting again. They're going to be some shooting. As you can see, Fort Carrium isn't exactly a peaceful town. You two wait here. Come on, Carson. I need to get a little practice in. That suits me fine. Zach, you no good claim jumper. But Cousin Zach, that claim belongs to both of us. Hold it, boys. Those aren't toys. Guns are dangerous. You could hurt someone. Now, just exactly what's... I'll take care of these aliens, Brave Star. Don't you dare point them guns at my cousin. Go ahead and shoot this rock blasting charge and see what happens. Zed, it's Lynn. Drop it! Uh, uh, I, I can't! Speed of the Puma! 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 Oh, 
Okay, you two, what happened this time? He was sneaking in to stake his claim without me. I was not. I made the claim in both our names. Is that true, Clem? Sure is. Then you two have caused all this trouble for nothing, and you're gonna have to turn in your weapons and pay for all the damage. That's all? I'd throw the book at them. Aliens are no good. They all should... Enough. If that's what you think, you've got a lot to learn about being a marshal, Carson. Is that right? Listen, I... Gee, what a great hat! I'm sorry, Marshal. I... That's all right, son. Here, I want you to have it. You think this fella's gonna be a good marshal, Marshal? I don't know. He's got a bad attitude, but a good heart. Racer! Come on, Carson. Marshal, an alien ship landed in Dust City, and, well, it sure didn't act very friendly. It made my father's turbo do some strange things. I'll check it out. Dust City, pard, let's go. Before we get any closer, let's see if we can raise the alien on the radio. I can't seem to get through the interference. Gotta try some other way to talk to it. Hold it, Carson. Don't approach that thing until I've tried to talk to it. The best way to communicate with an alien is with a gun. Okay, you in there? Here's a taste of what you'll get if you don't come out and surrender. Put that away, Carson! I warned you, alien! Now you've gone and done it. Well, I'll be tail feathered. The aliens taking control of those old broken machines. Sending them right after us. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hey! Put me down! Thanks, but I didn't mean here. Look out, Marshal! Strength of the bear! bear. bear. Okay, now it's my turn! This time you're going to stay broken! You're a robot. Let's see how it does when it can't see where it's going. Wonder what else that thing will throw at us. Maybe nothing if we don't give it a reason. This thing landed illegally, and it's an alien. So you figure it must be up to no good. Right. Well, this'll force him out. Carson, don't! Carson, next time I tell you not to do something, you listen, or so help me. You'll be seeing the town jail from the wrong side of the bars. Is that clear? Look! Carson, I've got a feeling you made a big mistake. Uh-oh. Looks as if that thing is heading for Fort Carrium. Yep. And my guess is, it's really bad now.
You, you heard me right, Fuzz. That ship has sprouted legs, and it looks as if it's about to attack Fort Carrion. Put the town in defense mode. <laughs> What's Fuzz waiting for? Cody Mouse, you brave scout. Fuzz trying to go through defense. But nothing working. Come on, we've got to stop that thing. It's controlling our defenses and probably taking over the town's machines. But it looks like the whole town's gone haywire. Ola, this is your fault, Carson. If you'd listen to the marshal. You can't blame me for what some crazy hostile alien does. No time for talk now. Come on. Uh oh. Marshal, everything in this town's gone crazy, and I may go with it. What do we do now? They're all going in one direction. <laughs> and turning down Cactus Street. But, but, but how we stop alien? It run all machines in town now. Maybe we should arrest the other aliens in town. They could be working with it. Carson, they might look different on the outside, but under the skin, aliens are people too, just like us. Ha! They're not like us. They're dangerous. Maybe there's someone else who can open your eyes. Shaman, I need your help. Shaman, thank you for coming. I have observed all in the vision flames. How can I help you, my son? I'd be obliged if you could teach Carson here about understanding the way you taught me. Who is he? And what's he doing here? He's my teacher. You have a teacher? Aren't you a little old for that? A person is never too old to learn something of value, if he's willing to listen. True. Observe and learn, Marshal Carson. It was a time when Brave Star was very young. Why did we come to this jungle planet, Shaman? I wish you to meet an old friend of mine. Run, Shaman! A monster! <laughs> It's good to see you, Shaman. Brave Star, this is my old friend, Green Flame. Green Flame, meet my frightened young student, Brave Star. You're saying this alien is the same as that dragon, friendly inside? No, Carson. The story tells us that we cannot judge a strange creature from its appearance alone. And just because something or someone looks different doesn't mean it is bad. But I reckon like Green Flame, the only way to know for sure is to get closer and meet whatever's inside. Yes, but be careful. Even if he is friendly, he may be frightened. And Brave Star, fear can kill. Getting closer to that ship won't be easy. It's using those machines to protect itself. Then we'll just have to fight our way through to it. We'll find ways to use the machine's own force against themselves. Parson, you work with Fuzz. Take out that chopper. Right. I'll stop him, Marshal. Turn and get you all bent out of shape. <laughs> that won't hold him long. I know something that will. Strength of the bear! bear. bear. Wanna play ball, eh? <laughs> Catch this pass! Look out, Marshal! It's coming back! That's what I was counting on. Doc! Here we come again! But this time I'm ready! Let us handle this! Quick break down! 
Good work. Uh-oh. Carson's got trouble with the last of them. I've got this one, almost. Uh oh. And he's wounded. If I interfere now, he might get caught in the middle. I'll just have to risk going in after him. Maybe if we combine our power, Big Pard. Right! Strength of the bear! bear. You're not going to shoot me with that thing again, alien. Don't try and stop me, Brave Star. Use some kind of ray gun on me. Uh, 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 it was not a weapon. It was a healing ray. You're lying, alien. But I'll let my laser teach you a lesson. No, you don't, Carson. He's telling the truth. Look at you. A few minutes ago, you were badly wounded. Now you're jumping like a sand crab. My, my wounds are gone. Yes, I had no wish to hurt anyone. I just wanted to frighten you away. Why did you attack us? Why did you come here, and who are you? I'm Boris. I crashed here accidentally. I did not know this world, so when the woman and the man in the turbo saddle approached me, I tried to frighten them away to protect myself. So you didn't try to hurt them? Oh, of course not. My people don't believe in violence. But I called you on the radio. You didn't answer. A comet damaged my ship. It destroyed my radio, so I, I could not contact you. And you took over the machines only to protect yourself. Yes. I sent somebody was trying to hurt me. That was me. I was afraid. S so was I. You see, Carson, you two aren't so different. You have nothing to fear, my friend. Come out and meet us in friendship. <laughs> I, I owe you a big apology. You saved my life. And all I could think about was that you were different from me. I see now that Brave Star was right. No matter how different we look on the outside, we're all a lot alike inside. So I just want to say, I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, I also am pleased. My ship needs carrium and a few repairs. I am a prince of my planet, and I can pay you for the damage I've caused. Will you help me repair my ship? We'll be glad to. Payment won't be necessary. We did more than our share of damage. We'll fix you up, starting with your door. Marshal Carson, I never thought I'd be saying this, but uh, I'm sorry to see you go. But I'll be taking something with me from New Texas, something I learned from all of you, about how good people come in all different shapes, and that includes alien shapes. Nicely said, Carson. I think you're going to make a fine marshal. Where you go now, Marshal Carson? I'm going to Boris's planet. He wants me to be their new marshal. I, I guess they want somebody who's ready to learn. I'll be the best marshal in the galaxy. Except, of course, for Marshal Bravestar. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, parts. Today, Marshal Carson learned something that I had to learn myself once. He found out that a person isn't bad just because he looks different or speaks another language. And I reckon he knows that it's a big, wonderful universe with lots of room in it for all kinds of people and animals. Glad you feel that way, Marshal. I wouldn't want you to feel bad just because you don't look like me. It's starting to get dark. We better head for home. Oh, we'll be glad when we get back on ground. If prairie people was meant to fly, we would have wings. Uh oh. Oh, 
Whoa, 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 mouse, you. Some kind of weird magnetism must have something to do with Lost Mountain. How you lose mountain? It's not the mountain that's lost. It's just that some people have gone into this area and never been heard from again. Oh, maybe we when we get you. It looks as though we're gonna have to crash land. Better check your safety belt. No, first, never, 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 never take belt off. Mayday, Mayday. Marshal Bravestar over Lost Mountain. Mayday, does anyone hear me? The mountain is blocking our radio. Hang on, Fuzz! Sure about this. Positive. Look, brave stars crashed on Lost Mountain. <laughs> Just a chance we've been waiting for. <laughs> yes, Master. Tell Thunderstick to get out the hover hex. We're gonna rescue Brave Star. <laughs> It's me, Marshal Bravestar. I'm here. Oh, oh, I'm hurt. Why you call me first? That's your name. And I'm Marshal Bravestar, your friend. Don't you know me? No, me confused. Me hurt. Me very tired. Won't sleep. He's breaking out in a cold sweat. His pulse is slow, and he's confused. That means Fuzz is in shock. I've got to keep him warm. Dugout will keep us warm for the night. Easy, little pal. I better take a look at that arm of yours. The skin's not broken, though it's not a compound fracture. It's good. But the only way I can safely move you is if I temporarily splint your arm. Be very brave, Fuzz. Me try, Mr. Marshall. These elephant ear leaves make good padding. Oh, 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 almost finished. Almost. Just hang in there. There. That should do it. Here, drink some water. We don't want you to get dehydrated. You're fine, Fuss, but I can't say the same for our ship. I don't think it's gonna get us out of here. Oh, no, oh, no. We stay here forever and ever like not the lost peoples. Don't worry, Fuss. We'll find a way out. But for now, we gotta stay as warm as we can until sunup. That's exactly where he is! 
Get us there, Thunder Stick, and get us there fast! Brave Star, all alone, without that blasted 30-30. This is just the chance I've been waiting for. These leaves will give us a good layer of insulation to keep out the cold. Oh, we snug as bugs and rugs. Excuse me, uh, but you, 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 anything? Sure did, Fuss, but it was probably just a wild animal looking for food. If we don't bother it, it won't bother us. <laughs> me no bother it. Good idea. Now let's get some sleep. There's lots to do in the morning. Watch out, you fool. What are you doing, steering with your eyes shut? Sorry, sorry, Master. But there's some kind of cookie magnet just around here. Making all the controls go up. Whoa, whoa, you know, see what I mean. Put the hover hex down. We'll go in on the ground. It'll give us a better chance to sneak up on Gravestar. Something near us. Me no, me no. Don't move. Uh uh. Oh no, not me no way. Uh uh. It's a saber bear. A saber bear. A young one. Probably even a baby. And it's stuck in the wreckage of our ship. I'm gonna have to help it get out. Even baby wild animals dangerous, Mousel. Be careful. I will, but I want you to stay here, under the leaves, and keep hidden. Buzz, where are you? We already hide, Mousel. Hold on, little fella. I'm gonna help you get free. I need something to pry that metal away. That does it. Bet that's your mother calling you home for dinner. But she sounds a little angry. Better not take the chance of having her come here. Come on, I'll help you find your way to her. Bravestar is that way, Master Hex. Good. You lead the way. When we find him, we split up and come in from all sides. Marshall won't know what hit him. Sure, I heard your mother's cry coming from this direction. Peace, great creature. aren't working. Must be that magnetism that brought down the ship. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Looks like I've made a friend. Thanks, my friends. <laughs> How much farther? Uh, hard to tell. Much magnetism in lost mountains. Maybe over next ridge. You better be right. Our furry young friend is safely back with his mother. How's your arm feeling? Mm, not so good, Mousu. Hmm. It's gonna need some medical attention soon. We'll have to think of a way to get us out of here. Someone in that clearing. It's Bravestar and Fuzz. Thunderstick, you go around to that side. Abra, you take the other side. Scuzz, you stick with me. Let's go. All right, Marshal, we got you covered. Don't make a move. What? Let's uh, get out of here. Uh, well, I guess you're not the real brave star after all. So I think I'm just gonna say goodbye. <laughs> Reckon we don't have much choice. We're gonna have to walk out of here. Mouse, you not show me can walk very far. Very people have tiny feet and be very tired. Don't worry, Fuss. A long time ago, my Indian ancestors had a good way to move injured people. They made a litter, kind of a movable stretcher, out of branches and vines. I don't know what that thing was, but, but I sure don't want to see it again. Yeah, <coughs> me either. You blunderbrains. That was nothing but a saber bear. You could have put it to sleep with that stinking cigar. Gosh, boss, he was just as scared as we was. What? <laughs> How'd you like to see a thunder stick turned into a pop gun? <laughs> Next time, keep your thoughts to yourself. You led me wrong, Viper. Don't make the same mistake twice. I want Brave Star. Uh, uh, no, Master. If find him this time, I promise. You better. What, what is it, Mouse? You mean you understand? You'll see. How's that? Oh, it's good, Mouse. You but me feel very weak. Try to rest, Fuss. I'll get you home safely. I hope. This is Brave Star's ship, all right. But where's Brave Star? Uh, 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 me, not sure. Boss, boss, me sure. Me find Brave Star even if Viper can't. One of these days, Scars. If the Scars don't do you in, Viper uh, will. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> me, 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 me understand. What? you find? He's <laughs> from the Brave Star's tracks! Look! This is it! That fool lawman is pulling something. He never get away! Come on, this time I'll do the tracking.
Just hang on and try to sleep. We'll be down the mountain soon. We're getting closer. Thunderstick, put the hover hex on remote control and bring it into that clearing down there. Hex. Check it out. And it's on remote control. Buzz, that just might be the ambulance we need. Uh oh. What's that? Hex, Hex. <laughs> now let's see. Tex must have spotted our crash. Afraid we'll have to take a little rest up, Fuzz, while I get those coyotes off our trail. These trees will help us give them a swift welcome. Looks good, Fuzz. Now we'll just have to wait. Let's see if I can maneuver Tex into our traps. Been expecting you, Tex. What took you so long? I've been taking my time thinking about what I'm gonna do to you when I get you back to the Hexagon. If you get me back to the hexagon. Get him! to make that visit to the Hexagon another time, Tex. In the meantime, we sure do appreciate the use of the Hover Hex. I'll make sure it gets returned to the people you stole it from. Well, get him for this. He'll pay, you'll see. He can't get away with treating me like this. Just fine, Fuzz, and a few weeks that arm will be just as good as new. Thanks be to Marshall Brave Style. He knew right thing to do. Thanks, little pard. I'm just glad I knew what to do. Soon as my arm get better, you teach Fuzz first aid. Who knows? Maybe next time I carry you out. <laughs> Don't thank me, Fuzz. Thank First Aid. I only did what anyone would have done. Not anyone. Must be someone who knows First Aid. Right. Knowing what to do in an emergency is something that everyone should know about, young and old. If you'd like to have some First Aid training, be sure to contact your YMCA, YWCA, or local Red Cross office. Someone's life might depend on you. Store. Good to see you. Howdy, Freeman. You look a little on the nervous side. I reckon I am a mite jumpy. 
I've been expecting more trouble from the dingoes any time now. So I heard. That's why I... Dad! Dad! I did it! I fixed it! Oh, howdy. Howdy, young fella. Uh, Marshal Bravestar, this is my son, David. Uh, what were you saying, son? You, you fixed what? The motion sensors. Now, if anything moves out by the pod farm, we'll know it. Huh? Whoops. <laughs> it's going off already. I must have hooked it up wrong. Excuse me. Wait, David. It might not be a mistake. Eyes of the Hawk! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, but I ain't happy. We'll go to fighting mode. Now I'm happy. <laughs> hey, Dingoes, I'd like y'all to meet a friend of mine. Her name's Sarah Jane. Cover me, big partner. I'm going in. Speed of the Puma, 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 Puma. Puma. <laughs> Hog all the fun. Wow, that Marshal Bray star's terrific. Aren't you gonna shoot too, Dad? Oh, not me, son. I'm just a farmer. This is the Marshal's job. Now you get your head down. <laughs> Ears of the wolf! Now listen, guys, we're gonna jump Brave Star. Wrap this up, big partner. Let's do it, Sarah Girl. <laughs> Nice shooting, 30. Even after their force field wears off, it'll still take them a long time to walk back. Our thanks, Marshal Bravestar. You showed up just in time. Yeah, you were great, Bravestar. And you too, Horsey. <laughs> the name's 3030, kid. Besides, I couldn't have done it without Sarah here. Well, I think you and the Marshal are very brave. Not like some. What were the dingoes after, anyway? Uh, oh, uh, they were after the Sweetwater pods again. Come on, I'll show you. I think I grow some of the best Sweetwater pods around. Unfortunately, the dingoes think so too. Mm, you're right, that's excellent Sweetwater. Yeah, <laughs> I could sell a lot more of it if I could grow it. But this pod farm is already as big as David and I can handle by ourselves. Can't you hire some more workers? Where? Everyone on this planet is only interested in, in mine and carrying. No one wants to be a pod farmer, including, unfortunately, David. Okay, you dirty dingoes! Drop that stolen carrium or I'll blow you into the Badlands! How do you know it's stolen, David? Oh, well, dingoes always steal everything, don't they? Everybody knows that! Yeah, that's right. No, that's wrong. And you stay out of this. Well, excuse me, Marshal Gravestar. Your little old horse will just go eat some hay or something. Golly, I hope I didn't cause any trouble. You didn't, David. 3030 and I just disagree on a lot of things, that's all. Disagreements are part of life. Just like you disagree with your father on pod farming. Well, why shouldn't I? If he was really brave, he'd be out fighting them thieving dingoes instead of growing these stupid plants. I think you underestimate your father, David. They're all kinds of heroes. And it takes great courage to work out here in such dangerous territory. He's a farmer, just a farmer. Don't try to make it a big deal. You don't work on a farm, I do. Now listen, David. No, you listen, Marshal. Don't get me wrong. I love my father. He's a good man, 
but he's no hero. I think you're mistaken, David. I wish I was. Hey! <laughs> Hang on, big partner. Speed it up, Puma! 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 <laughs> are asking for big, big trouble. Now let the boy go. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> you all right? I, I think so. Uh, uh... But your horse was stolen. I'm sorry my father wasn't much help to you. Your father's not a lawman, David, but he risked his life for us, and you, anyway. Someday I hope you learn just how brave that was. And as for 3030, I promise you this. Those dingoes are gonna be real sorry they took my big partner. Cage will keep you from horsing around too much. <laughs> you sneaking, stinking scum! When Sarah Jane and I get back together, we'll paint the hails with you. <laughs> Sarah Jane? Oh, you mean the little lady here? Afraid <laughs> she's my girl now, horse face. And soon she'll help me blast. Freeman Tower right off his pod farm, and then we'll get all the sweet water. Isn't that right, Sarah, darling? Hmm? <laughs> Rage Star! Eyes of the Hawk! Ho, 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 ho. Did you see 3030, Brave Star? No. Dingoes must have taken him underground or in a cave. I can't reach him by radio either. I... I know these hills well, Marshal. Uh, there are many caves. I could lead you to them. No. I'd leave your farm unprotected. The dingoes will be back. They'd destroy it. No. I must go alone. Though I'd probably get lost. I'll go, Marshal, if you stay here with David. Dad! I don't know, Freeman. It could be dangerous. Yeah, I'll be safe enough. I know these hills better than anyone. Besides, you and 3030 helped me. Now it's my turn. Take care of David. He's going! Come on, David. We'll lock on to him with the motion scanners. That way we can keep an eye on him. Just let me get the scanners locked in on your father. There, the scanners are set. We'll be able to watch his every move now. So what? Why should we bother? He won't do anything. He's too chicken. David, that's neither polite nor true, and you know it. Well, it might not be a nice thing to say, but it's still true. He won't battle the dingoes, will he? And they raid our farm all the time. He should go teach him a lesson, but no, he won't do it. He isn't brave. He's no hero. He's just a pod farmer. Yeah. Fighting doesn't make a hero, David. A hero's much more than that. Look around you, son. This cabin, this whole farm. Your father did all this himself, with his own hands. And out in this wild territory, too. He works and lives out here, day in and day out. He fights every day, fighting the weather, fighting to keep the machinery running, fighting to keep the crops alive. It's not a spectacular fight, but it's a long one, and it never stops. 
And someday, when the carrium runs out and the miners leave, people like your father will still be here, making this planet a better place for people to live. In the long run, they are the real heroes, David. Boring! Someday you'll understand, David. Say, look! Looks like your father has found the dingoes. I think you'll soon see what kind of man your father really is. There. I figured they'd be in this cave. 3030 uh, must be in there. No! Oh! Dad! Easy, son. You just watch. <laughs> Not a chance! There. That should hold you long enough for me to find 3030 and get us out of here. Wow! Did you see that? Wasn't my dad great? Not bad. A little crude, maybe, but... Ha! Uh, you're just jealous! There's the farm, just loaded with all those sweet, juicy, sweet water pots. <laughs> and soon as we get close enough, they're going to be our sweet water pots. <laughs> right, Sarah, honey? <laughs> hey, take it easy, Dad Rabbit. I swear, you lunkheads are about as sneaky as a couple of broken down carrier freighters. Sorry, I tipped. Well, don't do it again. <laughs> this here cannon is too powerful to be banging around like that. Could be dangerous. So watch your step, or next time I'll make sure your heads are flatter than your feet. I said I was sorry. Uh, now back off. Yeah, who made you the boss around here? Anyway. Yeah! All right. We'll take a vote on my being the leader. All those against, speak up! I'm against it. So am I! Well, that's too bad. Looks like you two boys are outvoted. I'm the leader! Hey, wait a minute! Yeah, who voted for you? Oh, I got the most important votes, boys. <laughs> Mine and Sarah Jane's. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Any questions? Good. Let's go. Thirty thirty. Mm, Freeman. Galloping galaxies, man. What are you doing here? Well, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd say hello. Mm, sure glad you did. Can you blast open this dang blasted cage? Well, now, uh, you're too close. You might get hit. If only we had a tractor or even a strong horse. Mm, horse? Horse? Of course! I must have been out of my mind! What are you talking about? Watch. <laughs> you get a real kick out of this! Great! Now let's... Huh? It's Sarah Jean! I'd know her voice anywhere! The dingoes must be attacking the farm! We have to get back, and fast! Nobody messes with Sarah Jane but me! Saddle up, Freeman, and hold on to your hat. I got some stomping to do. Okay, let's try her again. Brace yourselves now! I've got to get out there and stop them. Wait here. Wow! Wow! Get him! Sarah, darling, you can be a mighty nasty lady when you try. The 
farm is just ahead. Hey, Freeman, been meaning to ask you. How come you showed up instead of Brave Star? He said I should go. Said he'd get lost. Brave Star said that? Yep. Mm, must be up to something. Those darn dingoes are getting good with that cannon. Can't get a good shot from here. Gotta get closer. Go get a Brave Star! You can do it! You're a hero! Get those dirty dingoes! <sighs> dirty, eh? Well, wash this off, kid! Ready? Aim! And... Hey! Aha! Fire! <laughs> that took care of him! Now for the kid! No! Yes! <laughs> no, not this time. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Especially considering that little pea shooter of yarn. Eh, pardon the expression, but would you get off my back? <laughs> Me and my lady have been separated for too long. Sarah. Sarah, honey. <laughs> How you doing, gal? You all right, huh? How you doing, son? You all right? I am now, Dad. You are great. You, you are a real hero. Hey, anybody home? Oh, feels like I've been clobbered by a carrion freighter. <laughs> yep, old Sarah do have a powerful effect on people. But here, drink some sweet water. You feel better. Thanks. You dingoes really like sweet water, don't you? Mm, oh, yes. That's why we tried so hard to steal it. Well, why don't you try to grow it instead? It'd be a whole lot easier and honest. Grow it? We don't know how. Yes, but Freeman does know how, and he could use some good workers. If you gents are willing to give it a try, I'll speak to Judge JB about your sentences. <laughs> you got a deal, Marshal. Good. Let's go talk to Freeman. Brave Star! <laughs> well, it seems to be working. Yep. Freeman has the help he needed. And the dingoes will be able to grow their own sweet water. It all worked out for the best. <laughs> Been meaning to ask you, how come you let them dingoes stun you during that fight? So Freeman could capture them instead of me. Yeah? Why'd you want a dang fool thing like that? I don't know, big partner. Guess I had my reasons. Let's go. Today's story was about heroes. There are many types of heroes. Some fight for law and order and try to keep everyone safe. Others, like Freeman, just work hard all their lives to make life a little better for everyone. Both are important. Both have responsibilities and risks problems and pride. Both are heroes. It's good to see you, old friend. What you doing in this part of New Texas? Come to visit you. What's all this? Well, I'm packing it in. I'm taking my family and I'm leaving Sawtooth. I'm fed up with the peculiar goings-on. What's going on? Accidents, stolen 
terrarium, explosions. It ain't a safe place for my family. <coughs> not be safe for Brave Star either. Tex Tex not like Brave Star here. <coughs> you reckon Tex is behind this? This isn't his usual stomping grounds. But whenever there's evil, I think of Tex. It came from up there. Let's go. Brave Star. Phew, will you look at that? So it was you that set off the blast. Me? I wasn't nowhere near till just now. You lying snake. You nearly brought down the whole darn mountain. Daddy explosion place, Marshal. Looks like a couple of miners doing some blowing up of their own down there. Come on, deputy. <laughs> Howdy, boys. Hey, Marshal, somebody tried to blow up my claim, and I figured this no good gopher was the one who had done it. Oh, yeah! is breaking out! Yo, what? Uh, I think this belongs you. Brave Star! You see, Brave Star? Explosions, accidents, friend against friend. Why, well, I could show you where they were stealing curium out of my mind. You better do just that, Rourke. Big partner, you and Fuzz keep an eye on things while I check out Rourke's mine. Wait till Tex Tex hears about this. <laughs> I gotta give these things up. If we can scare off just a few more miners, then Sawtooth Ridge will be... <laughs> Tex! Brave Star nosing around Sawtooth! <laughs> Brave Star here. Yeah! <laughs> Rourke, take him to Rourke Mine! Perfect. This is our chance to take care of him once and for all. <laughs> what we do, boss? Follow him! And when he sticks his nose into Rock's mind, <laughs> you and Cactus had arranged a little accident. Then, bye bye, Brave Star. <laughs> well, that's the last of my mining robots. Somebody wrecked the others. Here, let me show you where the carrium's been stolen. It, it's back here. Now, now, careful now. That ought to short circuit that methin, Marshal. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. You and that seagull are gonna get us caught. Now, that's where I stored my finest carrium. A month's work stolen. Yep, pretty rough, Rourke. I don't... My robot! It's out of control! That robot's gonna seal us in! Guess I better pull its plug. Speed of the Puma! 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 Now! That was no accident. Somebody tried to trap us in here. What do you mean, tried? There's a ton of rocks between us and daylight. No, no, there's been another explosion. Oh, oh maybe Marshall and Rock in trouble. Then we gotta dig them out, fast. <clears throat> but even your furry people digging talent won't be enough to get through all this solid rock. So head into town and bring us back some help. Look, there's an opening up on the wall. Yeah, but we can't climb up there. These walls are as slick as a used spaceship salesman.
But where does the water go in the summer, Shaman? The river is always alive. But in the summer, he hides his face and journeys deep under the earth. I have an idea. Ears of the wolf! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What are you listening for? There might be an underground river running through this mountain. A river? <gasps> Come on, Brave Star. This is no time to start digging a well. Strength of the bear! Yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to start a flood. <laughs> I don't know where you're all going, but don't bother to come back, because I'm taking over this town. I want everybody out of town for sundown. But uh, this is our town. We built it. Yeah, you can't frighten everybody. I can. Well, let's see if I can. All right, Cactus Head, let's see what you can turn this into. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough fun, Cactus Head. We got work to do. Next time I'll let him get ya. <laughs> we too tough to run. You doesn't scare us, does he? And Brave Star still trapped. Oh. Brave Star! <laughs> sure filling up fast. It sure is. Why would the just crap? We're crap. I'm drowning. And I can't swim. I got you, partner. Why'd you bring an underground tidal wave down on us? Because we need a lift up to that hole. And here we go. But we don't know where it goes. Ah! Look at that. A whole room full of carrium. I guess we know where the carrium's been going. And who's been taking it. Only one person I know uses hex loads. Tex hex! Looks like there's a stairway going up over there. Let's follow it. Hmm, a dead end. Well, we'll just have to. Somebody's tunneling. Might be anybody. Better duck down, Rook. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure a hard man to reach, Brave Star. Where you been? Me and Rourke were out having a swim. Oh, Brave Star, first happy you okay. Tex Hex here in Sawtooth. He say everyone out of town by sundown. Sundown, huh? Oh, we'll see about that. Hmm, <laughs> so what are we doing here, Gavin? We got some stomping to do. Brave Star. Oh, nobody here. Oh, they run away. No, Fuss. They're in there behind those closed windows. They must be mighty scared. Brave Star. The everyone's scared, and, and I, I, know, I know how they feel. We, we, we got families to think of. Sorry, Brave Star. 
first call JB. Call JB. She said the pasta. Yo, uh, please, uh, call in JB. Give me the first call in JB. Oh, it's broken. It isn't broken. Someone's jamming our signal. Right you are, Brave Star. And that someone is me. <laughs> Marshal, get out of that town or I'll burn it to the ground. I'm listening for your answer. You want to listen, Hex? Well, I'll make sure you hear me loud and clear. Hex, you want this town? Come and get it! I'm calling you out for a showdown. Meet me at sundown on Main Street, if you've got the courage. We'll all be here waiting for you. <laughs> They'll all be there. <laughs> Who's he kidding? This town's too scared to fight. <laughs> Don't like to tangle with varmints on an empty stomach. They're coming, Brave Star. Oh, oh, too bad you get no help from nobody. Oh. I got my big partner and my little partner. And if that's it, then that's enough. I hope. I hope you. All alone, huh? Couldn't get nobody to stand up for you, brave star. Just who you calling nobody? Yeah, for somebody. Now I'm getting mad. Tex, you're a thieving varmint. And I'm gonna take this town back from you. And I'm gonna put that gang of yours behind bars. Behind bars? <laughs> How you gonna do that if you're behind bars? <laughs> Let's see you dodge this, Brave Star. He's done for! Oh no, you've turned my dusters into mud! <laughs> Good work, deputy. But I wouldn't stand so close if I were you. Why not? <laughs> oh, never mind, Fuzno. The sleepy sand. <sighs> you won't get away that easy, brave star. <laughs> I'm stuck! I can't move! He's trapped! Brave Star's all alone out there! All wrapped up and no place to go? Hmm, get me out of here. Okay, if you can shoot Sarah Jane from in there, let's combine our firepower. I'll do my best. Let her rip! That ought to weaken it. I got brief stars neutral laser! <laughs> Have you out of there in another second, Bard? You ain't got another second. Cause now I've got you where I've always wanted you. It's all over for you, brave star. I don't like this. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Marshal? Whatever, it's alone. Uh, I'm not alone. Oh, first wake up. First you. You sleepy. Oh, but you. Ha 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 ha! Caged 
a nag and a half asleep deputy. And you ain't gonna get no help from these lily livin' miners. I'm not sure I heard you. Uh, mind repeating that? Glad to oblige. I say, you ain't gonna get no help from these chicken livered, yellow bellied, cowardly, sniveling. I ain't through yet. Belly crawling, gutless miners! <laughs> People of Sawtooth, you heard what he said. I don't believe you're that kind of people. Whose town is this? I'm going out there. I'm going with you. It's my town, too. Raystar's right. Sometimes you have to fight for what you believe in, and it's worth it. <coughs> Why don't you turn them into a little bug, eh? Hex, hex, and squish them! <laughs> Ooh, I like that. A bug it is. You leave the marshal alone. Who's that? <coughs> Just some fool miner. Zap him. <coughs> My cigar. <coughs> I swallowed it. <coughs> Too much for you to handle, eh, Scuzzball? Scuzz, don't get away, Daddy. <coughs> That brave store's gonna be a caterpillar. We can step out. Mm, look out, Marshal. Prepare to launch mud pies. Fire! You won't get two chances to ambush me, Hex. <laughs> This is our town, Hex. You ain't gonna bully us into leaving. We're ready to back up the marshal. No, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait a minute, boys. Just hold on. Don't get so riled up now. <laughs> they won't stand for any more, Hex. They've learned about their own courage and your cowardice. I'll get you for this, brave star. You know where to find me. <laughs> Hex, Hex, got away! Yep, but he won't cause any more problems in Sawtooth, because now he knows that you're not afraid of him. No bully likes that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for backing me up, folks. I'm glad you decided to stay on here. Well, it was you who showed us that anything worth having is worth protecting. Oh, thank you, Marshal Bravestar. I'm proud to call you friend. You know, it's a funny thing about Sawtooth. The way the people were running from Tex Hex, 3030 had it figured as a town full of cowards. But as it turned out, they had a lot of courage. And that tells us all something. That even when we're frightened, really frightened, if we reach deep down inside ourselves, we will find we have the courage to do whatever we have to. So long, pards. See you later.